Okay, heads up here, guys. Uh, just set right there. What form is this in? It's in factored form. So what information can I get really nice and easy from factored form? Like if I was going to graph this graph, what information do I get from that? It's really easy to find my x-intercepts. I mean, this is just screaming at me. Your x-intercepts are this, all right? Because this is written in the form y equals x minus p times x minus q. And my x-intercepts are going to be p0 and q0. So from this equation that they gave us, what are our x-intercepts? That is factored form. So what are my x-intercepts? What is P? It's going to be a positive 3. It's going to be the opposite because our formula says minus, right? So it's going to be a positive 3. So our x-intercept then is going to be 3, whoops, 0. What's Q? What's the opposite of positive 5? So it's going to be negative 5, 0. And those are our two x-intercepts. Okay? So the next thing they want us to do is they want us to write it in standard form. So to write this, well, all that stuff they didn't want us to do. I was just helping you out. So to write this in standard form, what do I do? I just FOIL it. Okay? We'll do the box method because we haven't done that very much, just to practice it. So the box method to FOIL, we're going to go x and negative 3 and x and 5. Yes? So what's x times x? What is x times negative 3? What is x times 5? And what is 5 times negative 3? And so we have to combine the diagonals, right? So we end up with y equals x squared plus 2x minus 15. And that is in standard form. We're resuming this. Okay, so now I got standard form. So out of standard form, probably the easiest thing to do with Zach, standard Harry, form. Come to the front office, Zach, Harry, to the front office, please. Is to find my y intercept. My y intercept happens when x equals zero. Okay, so my y intercept is when x equals zero. So if I take my standard form equation, y equals x squared, and put 0 in for x, plus 2 times x, minus 15. Really? Minus 15. I end up, this is going to be 0, this is going to be 0, negative 15. So y is going to be negative 15. And there's my y-intercept. So from standard form, the best clue that they give me is my y-intercept. Because I just plug 0 in for x, 0 in for x squared. All right? Okay. To find the vertex. To find the vertex, I'm going to put it in vertex form. So I'm going to take it from standard form. Standard form. And I'm going to write it in vertex form. How do I do it in vertex form? What do I do? Perfect. Y equals x squared plus 2x plus blank minus 15 minus blank. Okay? This right here is going to give me my binomial squared. Okay? So let's work on my binomial squared now. 
So in the parentheses, I just put x. And now, what is half? Whoops. What is half of 2? Positive 1. So I put plus 1 there. Now, I take the plus 1. Okay, this is key. We've been doing a lot of problems, and I don't know why, but a lot of the problems, we've been getting 1s here. All right? If this was a 3 plus 3, we would take the 3 squared and get 9. So what we have to do is we just don't always put a 1 there. That's what I want to get through to you mainly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this number, 1, and square it. So 1 squared, again, is 1. When whatever I add here, i got to turn around and subtract there. So the parentheses stuff, I'm already done with, all right? I've taken care of that right here. Now i got to take care of the K stuff, and my K is this stuff right there. So I'm going to go negative 15 minus 1 or is negative 16. And that is my K business right there. So now it's in vertex form, which is, again, Y equals X minus H squared plus K. And my vertex is HK. So what is my vertex then of the problem we've been working on? Since it's minus H, it's going to be the opposite of, so it's going to be a negative 1. And K, since it's plus K, whatever K is, it is. So it's just negative 16. And that would be my vertex. So to find the vertex, I put it in vertex form. To find my x-intercepts, I put it in to factored form. To find my y-intercepts, I basically use all three of them, but standard form is probably the easiest one. Yes, sir.